Hey, Thunder Poke is here. Today I'll recap a 2017 thriller movie, named Baby Driver. Movie starts with showing as a crimson vehicle pulls up on the opposite side of the street from a bank. Inside the car are three thieves named Buddy, Darling, and Griff, along with their skilled getaway driver, Baby. The robbers enter the bank while Baby enjoys the rhythm of the song Bellatums. Shortly after, the thieves rush back to the car. With the music blaring in his ears, Baby swiftly drives away, skillfully evading the pursuing police throughout the city by maneuvering through obstacles. Baby takes the car onto the highway, where two other scarlet vehicles pass by. Once they pass under a bridge, Baby cleverly outwits the police and escapes, leading them to a parking garage where he and the robbers switch to another car and make their getaway. Later on, Baby goes to grab coffee for himself and the criminals. They are meeting with their employer, Doc. Curious, Griff asks why Baby is always listening to music. Doc reveals that it's due to an accident Baby had as a child, which left him with tinnitus. Baby uses music to drown out the constant humming. Griff tries to intimidate Baby, but Baby remains unfazed. The criminals part ways, and Buddy advises Baby not to answer if Doc contacts him again. However, Doc tells Baby to disregard Buddy's advice. Baby lives with Joseph, a paraplegic and deaf man. They communicate through sign language, and Joseph suspects that Baby is involved in some shady business. In his free time, Baby takes recordings from his meetings with Doc and remixes them into music tapes. He keeps one special tape labeled, Mom. Baby visits Bo's diner and notices a beautiful young waitress named Deborah singing a song. She approaches him to take his order and notices Baby's recorder. They strike up a conversation, and Baby asks Deborah about the song she was singing. Later, Baby finds the song and listens to it at home, which leads Joseph to realize that Baby has met someone special. Dot brings Baby in for their next job and introduces him to the new crew, Eddie, No-Nose, JD, and Bats. Their target is an armored truck. As Doc explains the plan, Baby continues to listen to his music. Bats is the first to question Baby's abilities, but Baby manages to repeat Doc's plan word for word. This job is the final one Baby needs to do to settle a debt. The crew gathers by the armored truck. JD messes up by getting the wrong masks, Austin Powers instead of Michael Myers from the Halloween movie. While the three robbers go to steal from the truck, Baby waits in the car with his music. Unfortunately, Bats ends up killing the guard, and they all rush back to the car. Baby accidentally hits the truck while trying to escape a Marine's gunfire. The Marine chases them on the highway, causing them to get stuck under a truck. Bats has a clear shot at the Marine, but Baby swerves to avoid it. They end up stealing a car from a woman with a baby and JD loses his shotgun in the chaos. Baby manages to lose the Marine in a crash and they make it to the parking garage to switch cars. Bats questions Baby about missing the shot on purpose, but Baby denies it. Bats doesn't believe him and threatens him with a gun. Baby decides to go back to Bo's diner to see Deborah, where they talk about songs with their names. Baby then goes to Doc's hideout to collect his share of the money. Only Bats and Eddie are there, and Doc asks Baby to get rid of the car with JD's body in it. Baby takes the car to the junkyard and has a flashback about his past, including his mother's tragic death. He starts a new job as a pizza delivery driver and begins a relationship with Deborah. However, Doc approaches Baby again, needing him as a driver. Doc warns Baby that Deborah could be in danger if he doesn't comply. Reluctantly, Baby agrees. Later, he takes Deborah home, and they share their first kiss. At the post office, Doc pairs Baby with his nephew, Sam, to avoid suspicion. Sam gathers information for Baby to relay back to Doc. After interacting with a friendly teller, they return to the car for Baby to brief Doc on the heist plan. Baby calls Deborah, proposing they drive away together. She agrees. Baby daydreams of Deborah waiting for him by a car. Despite his rule of not using the same crew twice, Doc enlists Buddy, Darling, and Bats for the heist, with Baby as the getaway driver. They stop at a convenience store, where Bats steals gum. Buddy and Darling get intimate in the backseat, leading to tension when Darling mentions Bats' behavior. Bats realizes the butcher and his men are cops, leading to a shootout. Darling gets shot, and the crew eliminates the butcher's men. Bats throws a grenade at a fleeing cop. On the way back, Bats insists on stopping at Bo's diner. Deborah notices Baby's concern as she takes their order, but she doesn't reveal that she recognizes Baby. 
Buddy and Darling criticize Bats for his actions, while Bats questions Baby about Deborah. Baby denies knowing her, but when Bats reaches for his gun, Baby stops him. The crew leaves, and Baby discreetly hands Deborah a note for a secret road trip. Back with Doc, Bats lies about the butcher and his men being cops, but Doc already knew. Baby reluctantly agrees to proceed with the heist. At 2 a.m., Baby tries to meet Deborah, but Bats and Buddy follow him. Bats knocks Baby out and takes his tapes. Baby proves they are just music tapes to Doc. Meanwhile, Deborah waits for Baby. The crew prepares for the heist, with Baby supposed to take Darling hostage. As Baby waits in the car, he sees the teller from the day before. He warns her silently, but she brings a guard back. The guard is killed by Bats, and the police are alerted. Baby is pressured to drive as the situation escalates. Bats points his shotgun directly at Baby's face, causing Baby to react quickly by stepping on the gas pedal and crashing into a truck that has a protruding steel bar. The impact impales Bats, effectively neutralizing the threat. In a bid to escape, Baby, Buddy, and Darling make a run for it. Despite being pursued by the police, Baby tries to change his appearance and switches between different stolen cars. At one point, he takes an old lady's car but returns her purse before fleeing. Baby unexpectedly reunites with Buddy and Darling just as the police close in on them. The couple tries to flee with Baby, but they find themselves surrounded by the cops. In a desperate attempt to escape, Darling fires at the police, but tragically, she is shot and killed in the crossfire. Witnessing this, Buddy becomes consumed with anger and retaliates by firing at the cops, allowing himself to escape. Returning to his apartment, Baby discovers Joseph unharmed on the floor. He quickly gathers whatever money he can and takes Joseph to a nursing home for safety. Baby expresses his apologies to Joseph for failing to protect him as promised. With the police still on the lookout for him, Baby continues to run. He heads towards Bose's place to find Deborah, only to be confronted by Buddy, who holds him at gunpoint. Buddy seeks revenge for Darling's death and threatens Deborah. Just as tension rises, a police officer enters the diner but needs to use the restroom, momentarily distracting Buddy. Taking advantage of the situation, Baby shoots Buddy in the chest and flees with Deborah. They manage to steal a car from two individuals and make their way to Doc's hideout. The police officer then goes to check on Buddy, but Buddy shoots him and he dies. When Baby and Deborah meet with Doc, he is getting ready to give up on Baby, but Baby begs for Doc's assistance and tries to give him the stolen money. Doc finally agrees and allows Baby to take the money so that he and Deborah can escape. As they make their way down the elevator, they encounter some of the butcher's men armed with guns. Doc gets shot twice, but he manages to eliminate all three of them. Suddenly, Baby arrives in a stolen police car. He runs over Doc twice as Doc tries to chase after Baby and Deborah. Baby attempts to shoot at Buddy before attempting to escape in another car. Baby crashes Buddy's car over the railing, causing it to plummet several floors down. However, Buddy manages to escape in time and shoots near Baby's ears to deafen him. He goes after Deborah, who grabs a crowbar and tries to defend herself against Buddy. Baby regains his composure, grabs his gun, and shoots Buddy in the leg, causing him to fall onto the burning car, which then explodes. In the morning, Deborah drives Baby far away while they listen to a tape of Baby's mom singing. Suddenly, they notice that the police have set up a blockade, knowing that they have captured Baby. Deborah tries to escape, but Baby decides to surrender. Baby is then put on trial for his involvement in the heists. Testimonies are given by Deborah, Joseph, the post office teller, and the lady whose car Baby stole. All of them describe Baby as a good kid who made some poor choices and never intended to harm anyone. The judge sentences Baby to 25 years in prison with the possibility of parole in 5 years. While in jail, Baby receives postcards from Deborah, who has discovered that Baby's real name is Miles. The postcards depict the places they plan to visit once Baby is released. Eventually, we see what appears to be Baby's earlier fantasy with Deborah waiting for him. He goes to Deborah and kisses her. With that the movie ends here.